So, hello and welcome to Game of the Year uh, with your host, Leon. Dave, the stag be to himself. And uh, we've got a nice new lot of new releases for you, uh, for you to play this weekend. Gravity Falls, Legend of the Gnome Gemulets. Useless information for you. Gravity Falls is a Disney cartoon that was launched back in 2012. And this is the first game to come out based on that cartoon. Effectively, it's the story of two kids who go to stay with their creepy uh, grandpa, I think it is, in some creepy town of Gravity Falls. And they run the Mystery Shack. And it's all the adventures and shenanigans they get up to. And this is just the game based on that. Well, I mean, that's uh, Gravity Falls uh, coming out on the 3DS for you to play this weekend. Guitar Hero Live. It's Guitar Hero. Again. <laughs> didn't, we, didn't we have one last week with uh, Lenyard Skinyard? <laughs> that's Rock Band. No, that was Rock this Band. Has, this has Metallica instead. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, so, I mean, this time uh, they're sort of saying that you take the stage and uh, they've uh, actually filmed... Uh, loads of uh, crowds in some sense and uh, apparently those crowds react or you know dependent on how uh, well or badly you are doing in the game uh, and if you want to see the quality of the crowd just head over to the official website and you can see it in the background of them laughing and nodding and smiling and looking amazingly awkward They've got a pretty funny advert for this game. It's got Lenny Kravitz and James Franco in it and neither of them can play the game very well but they are more intrigued by getting the crowd reaction by doing pumps and movements. Very Lenny Kravitz style. There's even a nod to when Lenny Kravitz's um, bulge exploded out on a stage. Very similar to something that happened to Dave. <laughs> yes, my exploding bulge. Guitar Hero Live comes out for Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS4, PS3, and the Wii U, which no one will pick up because nobody has a Wii U. Were you not happy enough with Just Dance? Maybe not even Just Dance 2013, 2014, 2015? Well, guess what, guys? It's here, and it's here to stay. Fantastic arrangement of dancing rhythms for your pleasure. Do you know how big this game is? It's fucking two gigabytes. Ah, oh, got ya! Ah, oh, <laughs> funny. It's, it's it's huge. There's it a whole, is massive. Whole movement behind um, uh, dancing. Yeah, if you take like MOBA and you immediately think of Dota and League of Legends and you see the amount of following and the events that go up around those sort of things, and then it's the same sort of thing but with the dance industry or gaming industry um it's just huge so many competitions and it's like really high caliber as well it is quite fun to play i'm not gonna lie i have played it before but it's kind of the game that you your target audience is specific i think there's a lot of customers that are never going to pick this up um i think it's based around the family as well so this is a game that actually will come out on the wii and the wii u and probably will sell for that platform for the couple of people that have one of the wii u loads of people have wii didn't even realize they still made games for the wii just dance 2016 out this week for wii wii u playstation 3 playstation 4 xbox 360 and xbox one pulse pulse is the next in line of a new weird set of games that have started to come out which is you play a blind girl and you can only get around the game by making noises there are two other games that i am aware of uh, which is perception and beyond eyes but i believe that there are probably other games coming out it seems to be like the new genre it's like we've done everything else you know we've murdered zombies we've collected coins we've rescued princesses and stuff it's like well what new what's new what can we do so the, the game developers are sort of looking at disabilities maybe but um, i do know that there was like a i think it was between beyond eyes and this game uh pulse that there was like a, a legal battle because it was like a, who came out first and who had the idea but um it's interesting rebel galaxy comes out this week for your enjoyment it is not based around Star Wars. No. Not based around Star Wars. 
It's got nothing to do with Star Wars. Not at all. Or Frontier Elite 2. Or Star Citizen. There's a character that looks like just like Abe from Abe's Odyssey in the game, which I find highly amusing. But yeah, it looks like they've just ripped off a bunch of other games and just cobbled it together. It could be fun, but there are so many games like this that are also kind of fun that I find it very hard that there's anything there that will really stand out and make you go, I must get to this one over all of the others. Yeah, and uh, to be fair, it's kind of following that uh, trend of uh, randomly generated universes and that as well. So, um, yeah, it's, I don't know. It, it could be fun. But Leon, many people would say that all universes are randomly generated. <laughs> uh, I mean, fair play to them. It does look really pretty, but it it might do well. And if it does, good for them. But Doubt it. it's not blowing my mind, unfortunately. Mm, fair enough. Rebel Galaxy comes out for the PC this week. If you want to pick it up, pick it up. If you don't want to pick it up, don't pick it up. That's how we're going to go. Sword Coast Legends. Yeah. I don't know anything about this one. Okay, so back in the mists of time there was a game called Baldur's Gate and it's never heard of it. Down. You've never heard of it? No. Okay good. Um, it, hands down arguably it's probably one of the best versions of the pointy clicky uh, RPG style Dungeons and Dragons game. Yeah. This is effectively an updated version of that but they've added in more of the way that you play it as if it was a tabletop so you've got the dice rolls and you've got like you can be the dungeon master and you sort of set out the adventures and stuff and it's also co-op so yeah that's sword coast legends coming to pc mac and linux for you to play this weekend tales of zeteria yay tales there have been many many tales over many 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 years and this is the tales of zestria which is the 20th anniversary of the game i'm not a fan of many tales apart from the one that follows sonic and uh i love the name of their new uh their new uh, sort of system the new dynamic fusionic uh chain linear motion battle system it's what amazing the fuck <laughs> it's basically they've taken a whole bunch of words put them on a dartboard and then threw darts at them to see which ones they were going to pick <laughs> rolls off the tongue uh, and it totally does and like the thing is is that w what does that explain nothing <laughs> no. it's like car manufacturers <laughs> with their new dynamic motion side scrolling system breaking <laughs> hydraulic <laughs> pumps of doom <laughs> But, you know, you can easily remember it as the Fakulukuma Boobs. Effectively, the Tales series was done by Bandai Namco as a direct competition to Squeenix uh, for the, their Final Fantasy. And Tales was kind of like their version of it. So if you've ever played any Final Fantasy or if you've played previous Tales, then you kind of know what you're in for, which is like a, a sort of... 3D isometric top down where you're running around as a person there'll be random battles that you get thrown into um, and then you do the battle system but their battles have always been really odd like the Tales of Symphonia was one where it was all music based so you had to play instruments to do damage to enemies um, there was another Tales which was all cooking based so everything was done through cooking and then you get food buffs which help you in the battles um, so they're all odd but, you know, it's Japan, so that goes with the territory. If you've played a Tales game, then you know what to expect, and you're going to love this. If you've not played a Tales game and have no interest in it, move along. If you've got an Xbox, you're screwed, because it's coming out on PS4, PS3, and PC for this week. Not for you, Xbox fans. So, uh, uh, the Fatal Frame. Oh, my God. Made oh of God. black water. So, you know how you were saying, fuck Wii U users? I didn't say that. I said there aren't <laughs> many of them. Well, I love a good that, Wii U user. The uh, now there will be more Wii U users because Fatal Frame is absolutely amazing, and this one looks like it really utilizes the console itself to take the pictures of the ghosts. Uh, Fatal Frame was an epic PlayStation game back in the time that was damn scary, which involved you 
investigating creepy goings-ons with this magical camera obscura which allowed you to see ghosts and damage them by using certain rolls of film and this is basically just another one in the chapter does it utilize the we use fantastic graphics capability that they stole from a clinton's card um well looking at the screenshots it does look damn pretty Fatal Frame, Maiden of Blackwater, comes out for the Wii U this week. So for you guys that actually have one, pick it up, because evidently it's probably one of the best games you can get for it. Knocked. Knocked? Who's there? No, Knocked. That's the uh, the name of the game for this week. Uh, on PC, Mac and Linux are coming to play for you this weekend. It's a, it's a <laughs> 2D top-down multiplayer survival horror game uh, that blends arcade combat uh, with RPG survival elements. Uh, you're a survivor of the apocalyptic purge that forms the desolate wasteland now known as Noct. I like the um, the concept of this game, where you can go up to people and sort of talk to them and go, Hi, I'm really <laughs> friendly. <laughs> yes, <Sorry>. exactly. <laughs> um, I'm not going to shoot you, honest. Let us jaunt out together and defeat the evil beasties. And you can reply, sure, and then shoot them in the back and run away giggling. It also looks like it's being played by like a, a low res security camera. <laughs> yeah, I know That's... what you mean, it does. It has that is the kind of art style for it, isn't it? Hmm. I'm not sure I like it or not. Are you a fan of CCTV? Well guess what? This is the game for you. Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Now I tell you what, guys. You can play exactly the same game, but just in London this time in uh, 1868. London? Yes. London Tan? <laughs> well, you get to play gentleman spiffing. You're playing uh, Jacob Fryer, and uh, you're, you've got help from your uh, twin sister, Evie. It's made by Ubisoft. Does, does the trailer look awesome? Yes. Yeah, it does. It looks okay. pretty good. Does the real game look nothing like that, then? Absolutely. Okay. It sounds like every other Assassin's Creed. You, you get to climb tall buildings and scout out stuff and go and murderize people. But you also get to do uh, horse and carriage fighting in the streets. Is there a pirate ship in this one? No. Okay, I might actually be interested then. Yeah, you get to like leap from horse and carriage uh, or you can like stand on top and shoot people. Things like that. Stab, stab, stab in Assassin's Creed. <laughs> stabity, stabity! Assassin's Creed Syndicate, Xbox One, PS4, go and get it! Dun! Dun, 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 dun. Zelda, Heroes of the Triforce. That means there's three of them. And it's dangerous to go alone. Is this the one where you can stand on each other's heads? to get to other places. That's correct, yeah. Dynamic game. They need that engine. Super dynamic wah 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 engine. Also, it has Link dressed up as Zelda, just to make things even more confusing. Hold on, who's Zelda? That's the princess. No, fuck off. That's the main character, isn't it? No, that's Link. Who's Link? The main character. Well, who's Zelda, then? The princess. What princess? The one in the game, Zelda. I don't remember no princess. I remember a little guy in green. That's Zelda, yeah? No, that's Link. What the fuck? My but now, you can have right. Link dress up as Zelda. So Link is Zelda. So Confused? Like, but bo boys dressed as girls, yeah? Yeah. I'm sold. Now, I, I think the kind of cool thing about this game, uh, the fact that it is on the 3DS, it is portable. Um, I think that's you know a very good platform for um, Zelda in general. Um, they, you can kind of do a local wireless uh, between uh, sort of multiple um, DSs. Uh, you can also do a download play uh, with another DS as well, so they don't even need to necessarily have the game, which is really cool as well. And then uh, the other thing that you can uh, do as well is that you can actually go online and uh, uh, play 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 with your friends uh, online uh, all around the world. So I, I think they've got matchmaking as well, so you can get other people in. Um, if you're not that way inclined and you don't really want to do multiplayer, there is a single player option uh, where you'll be using two doll-like doppels uh, to fill in for the other links. 
Kind of sounds like that was just hashed in because they didn't think properly. <laughs> um, but you'll be able to control each hero at a time to go through the dungeons. Um, uh, there is a, also like a Colosseum mode as well, uh, where you can kind of uh, go up against each other, <laughs> uh, which looks kind of cool as well. Warhammer, the end times, Vermintide. Vermintide looks like it's set in the Mordheim realm, which is kind of the Warhammer end of the Warhammer world, not 40,000, and is based around the cityscape. It looks to me as a first-person shooter-esque game, but based around the Warhammer world. It looks very much like a sort of zombie horde survival wave system game where shitloads of Skaven, which are like big rats coming at you and you can play as a mage or you can play as a warrior or etc that is it that's all we've got thanks for watching and if you're planning on playing any of those games drop us a comment below let us know what you think and if you're from the future and have already got these games then drop us a comment as well to say what you actually think of the game and whether our predictions were right or wrong so thanks for watching, and until next time, game over, yeah.